everybody it's me sissy and today i have two quick and easy diys for you one for easter and one for spring so stay tuned and see what we make for this first diy all we're going to use is one of these cute really cute glasses they have at dollar tree now this is the stemless wine glass that says bloom where you are planted it's really cute i love it and i want to use it for a vase not to drink out of it so all I'm gonna do, but I did I don't like it when my stems show, so I'm gonna fix it where I don't have to look at the ugly stems. So we're just gonna put a little bit of craft paint in here and a little bit of water, and we're just gonna swirl it around. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint in here. Just going to roll it around in our vase, our, our glass. Till we get it all coated. Okay, we might have to do more than one coat, but we're just gonna do one first. Let it dry and see how it looks and see if we need to do another. And I'm being kind of careful getting it to the edge. I know it's going to drip some more when I put it on the plate, but I'm going And this is an old bottle of paint, so I'm just going to take my excess in the cup and pour it back in here. And I can use this like as a little whitewash. So then I'm just going to take it and set it on a plate and let it kind of drip out and cover all the edges. And then in a little bit before it dries, we'll go and lift it up and uh, clean up the edge and see if we need another coat. So we're going to set that to the side. DIY, we're going to use some of these um, vase fillers, the uh, glitter vase fillers. One of the coin banks or little shadow boxes you can get from Dollar Tree and then I just took a piece of um, cardstock and I used my Cricut and I um, cut out the image of a bunny. Um, if you don't have a Cricut you can just um, just Google bunny silhouette and um, download it and you could trace it on the paper and cut it out but I am trying to use my Cricut more since I have it and it was a big investment for me, so. Now we're going to get a knife. Why am I never prepared for these videos? We're gonna get the back off this bank. There we go, you just got to slide the little tab up. There we go. And then we're going to, okay, so now we've got the back off our box and the glass clean. So we're just gonna take our bunny and put him in our little frame with a dot of glue. Make sure you don't have any glue strings between your bunny and the glass, which I do. Okay, and now the fun part, we're just going to fill up our box with our little vase filler, all the pretty colors. Okay, and then we're going to snap our lid back on. Flip it over and look at there. We have a pokey dotty bunny, and we're going to put in. We're just going to give take a little pom pom and make him a little bunny tail. So there we have one little Easter bunny. 
and he's cute. He's so cute. And you can fill it up with anything. You could fill it up with flowers. You could fill it up with jelly beans. Um, whatever you would like to do. So now we're going to go on to our second little decor piece. And I'm just going to use an 8x10 photo frame. This is from the Dollar Tree. Um, one of the moss sheets, also from the Dollar Tree. I've got some purple ribbon. I don't... I think this may have come from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not sure. And I have another little, um, well, we're not going to put a pom-pom on this one. And see, the same thing on this one. You could just um, trace you out a bunny and cut it out a piece of cardstock. Um, I got a little fancy with mine with my Cricut, and I did some writing right here on the bunny, and it says, Silly Rabbit, Easter is for Jesus. So we're just going to um, put this in the frame. I'm going to take the back off and use my knife. And if you have a large pom-pom, you can use it on his tail. I don't think I have any that are large enough to put on his tail. Um, but I'll go look at my stash and see what I got. And then we're going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to take some um, alcohol and clean the glass. dries just that fast. There's no dampness left in there. So then I'm just going to take my um, piece of cardstock and we're going to measure it on here. I think we're going to have to take the back and measure it on here and cut this down just a little bit. I'm just going to trace around it and cut it out. been thinking y'all I'd have put the glass on top of it and traced around it so I could make sure that I had it centered correctly but learn from my mistakes people oops y'all I am not a good cutter apparently put some more off the bottom Hopefully, I don't cut it too small. I think that is just about right. So, let's turn it over and take a look at it. Yeah, that's just about, that's right. So, then we're going to take our moss sheet. And we want the moss to cover the bunny, and I'm going to have to piece a little piece to cover up his ears. Or, let's see. Yeah. And we get that on there. Then we're going to put the back on it and see what we got. Okay, so then we have our nice green bunny. 
with our saying on it right here and we're going to put a little bow on him and i have this pretty purple ribbon here i'm just going to take it make a loop go around put the loop through pull it tight and adjust our tails And if you, these would be cute in a white frame, but um, I'm putting them on a white shelf, and I didn't want them to blend in so very much. So, I'll put a little drop of glue on that, and I'll go check for my... have a big bunny tail and a bunny tail so we're just going to glue that on there this would be cute with some patterned Easter paper um, scrapbook paper um, a Easter gift bag you could cut out the bunny out of a gift bag but anyway, I'm going to go stick these on my shelf and take a look at them, and then we'll finish up with okay, our so paints. we have now, we have our glass, and I put it a couple of coats of paint in there. It's not quite dry, but you get the idea. So I'm going to let it sit and dry for a little while, and then I'm just going to put some little flowers in it, and it's going to so be so So that's my cute. simple um, little DIY, just some paint in a glass and let it dry. Now, I, I do have a little scuff mark in here because I put my flowers in. I couldn't wait for them to dry, but it's really, really cute. And I love that. Bloom where you were planted. And um, these little flowers, I got these at Michael. My friend bought these for me. Um, she's so sweet. But uh, anyway, I think it's cute. And then we have our two bunnies. Um, Silly Rabbit Easter is for Jesus. And then our little fun bunny with the vase fillers in it. But anyway, that's my quick and easy little spring craft and some Easter crafts. And stay tuned. We have some more coming up. And don't, don't forget about the Eco Buddies. Um, bamboo utensil giveaway uh, craft challenge um, if you go to the uh, my last Dollar Tree haul I talk about it I'll put a link to it in the description box below but if you comment on that video like and subscribe if you comment on this video you'll be entered into the giveaway for a box of uh, 50 sets uh, 50 each knife fork and spoon from eco buddies and their um, renewable bamboo um, utensils cutlery I can't say cutlery but anyway um, and, and if you have an idea of what I could use what kind of craft I could use those in other than just using them and, and not buying plastic ones leave it in the comments below and I'm going to go through them and, and each person I'm going to try to pick a few and I'm actually do what they suggest um, if I can do it sometimes my stuff don't work out y'all it's just the way it is but anyway y'all have a great day get out there do some crafts um, I hope your weather is better than ours it was raining so long I can't stand it I'll be glad when it quits raining and spring gets here but anyway see y'all next time. Bye-bye.